Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Barcelona, and I'm here with Jeff Enters. And one of the things that's kind of a theme here is looking at how mobility and cloud and big data are impacting the network. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think, uh you know, companies. What we're trying to get companies to do this week is to get uh, get a better understanding of what they can do today to look towards those trends that are happening tomorrow or today, you know, even into tomorrow, right around those three big areas of three big bets today, um, and what they can do, right? Like what, what's going to happen is the impact of mobility. As there's a sudden proliferation of devices across the network big data, you know, you think about the three V's behind big data, and then from cloud, from a bursting standpoint, how can the network become agile and responsive and intelligent to respond to these three different things? So that's some of the things we're talking to customers about this week is how they can handle these, uh, these future trends that are coming up. So what are some of the things that people should be thinking about? Well, I think uh, it's not just about um, you know turning things on today, right? I think the historically the network's really been the laggard, um, and I think it's good for for IT departments to really get the business to understand some of that. That you look at compute, you look at storage, uh, and, the, and the, their abilities today to dynamically provision and deprovision resources as needed. And today that can't happen on the network side. So helping the business understand that that is really the laggard within that IT organization today, I think that's one of the things that can help. And then just starting to look at their overall operations and how they're going to be able to handle more of a dynamic nature network that can really respond to, again, some of those big bets and those transformational technologies that are out there today and get that network to come along and be able to meet up with those. And so, so you're, generally, you're saying like SDN, things like that, you don't, you don't necessarily need to roll them out now, it can, but you need a plan to how to get to rolling them out. Yeah, I think exactly. Yeah, things like SDN, NFV, whatever, whatever it ends up being that, that you determine as a technology or an enabler to be able to respond to the different business needs is what you need to start looking at. Identify what those things might be and then even take some simple uh, steps to start uh, preparing yourself for those things. Those can be simple things, no cost type things, right? Uh, procurement policy changes to say, yeah, I've identified that I think SDN is, is a possible future for my network to help enable this and so maybe we check our procurement policy box to ensure that the, the products we purchase are SDN capable and then uh, even starting to really um, uh, one of the big things that I always see with, with companies is is their network currently today is so broke uh, that it's really not going to be ready for any kind of a transformational change so you look at things like DDI or DNS DHCP and IP address management those core services that really enable the network overall um, in many companies many times are not ready for any kind of a transformational change. So what can you do to shore those up, get those things ready, get those things cleaned up and intelligent to, to what's going on in the network today can really help to prepare you. Um, I think one other area would be that, I, that I'm thinking of is, uh, is network management. Uh, I've had too many customers I've been dealing with lately that um, <laughs> that the network management side of things is a, is a, a product that got installed at some point and was uh, was forgotten about essentially. You know, um, it's not doing any kind of notification because they got you know 50, 50 uh, emails the first day and it was too much and they shut it off kind of thing. Rather than taking the time and all it costs us some time really to clean up some of those things, stabilize that network, understand the network, and and again some of those core services too to make sure that those are ready so that you're prepared for, for that next technology trend that can help enable and again catch up with that compute store uh, side of the house. So, so, it's, it's, so it's really a combination of, of planning and maybe making some purchases now that are a little bit future proof? Yeah, yeah, or even, yeah, purchase, uh, you know, or purchases that enable what you need today, but have, again, kind of that checkbox that says they're, they're, all, they're ready for, they're going to do what I need today, but they also can enable me for tomorrow. Yeah, so I think it's a combination of both. And then uh, education is always a big one, too, right? Start to educate yourself around uh, what those opportunities are in the future and uh, what could possibly be the next step for you and how you can get there. So education for the, you know, from an IT manager, standpoint, educating the business, and then of course the actual engineers that are down there making it all happen in the end really get some education on that side to help them understand what, what that next change is going to be.